good to see you again. Just so you know, Ty and I will be at the airport personally to make sure that the planning goes well. We're honored that you wanted us involved, sir. You would never involved. I have my own people to oversee it. I hardly need a small town cow doctor. Uh, excuse me, we were asked to help. Really? Your arm, it's broken. So not only you went behind my back, you are now completely incapable of training the horses in your condition. How would you have any use to me now? You're fired. You should have done that a long time ago. What is with you people? And constantly poking your noses in places where it does not belong. You are not welcome here. And that annoying country bumpkin cowgirl who keeps showing up, I don't want to see her back here either. Hold on there. What's your problem, man? You afraid to talk to Amy? You don't know a thing about her. She's a natural, totally gifted. You'd be lucky to have her work with your horse. You could have, you could have had your world-class horse back. World-class? I mean, it's far from world-class. Never was, never will be. In fact, that horse has let me and my team down consistently. Ah! I've had enough! Look, you can't give up. There's a reason he acts this way with you. Really? And I suppose you have the answer, do you? Yes. Oh, then please enlighten me. I think Amir acts this way because the only attachment he has with you is negative. A negative attachment? I love it. Amir associates you, associates you with that terrible flight. That terrifies me. And you are a silly country girl spouting new age garbage. Excuse me, I am a professional. Why do you think Adrian called me in in the first Because place? Adrian is a fool. And you're a spoiled, condescending, sexist idiot. You do not know who I am. Well, I know you have absolutely no personal connection with that horse. What personal Probably connection? never had. Talking to him, grooming him, the regular stuff. Ah, I have staff to do that. So did your father, but I bet he did it himself anyway. Emir was his horse, and I am sure he loved him. They won championships together, so they must have had a bond. Amir misses him. He felt, he felt lost in that plane because he doesn't have a bond with anyone anymore. Certainly not with you. I'm sorry, I sh probably should. But Ahmed, you want to help your team, right? Of course I do. How do you think it feels, losing again and again on a horse that my father made a champion of? My father founded the equestrian team. Everybody loved him. And now I'm letting his memory down in front of my team and they know it's not the horse then you have to let this horse trust you like he trusted your dad. I am not my father. I can't come close to being my father. I'm not asking you to be, but you can still reach Amir. I know it. I can't imagine competing at such a high level without a partnership. You need to make an emotional connection with him. I want to help you to do that. Will you let me? Here. I know you have a retinue of people to do this, I can't but do this. You can't quit. The practice round is in two hours. I don't get you. You know, you've made huge strides with that horse. How can you quit now? Because I have no right to ride it, Mir. He's not my horse. He is now. You've worked so hard. You and Amir are good together. No. Amy, I've lost something. When my father died, I lost something. I was always a good rider. People said I inherited his gift, but now I think it's gone. It's not Amir, it's me. I've lost my touch. Ahmed, listen to me. I know exactly what you're saying. Believe it or not, I've been going through it myself. Amir helped me to get my confidence back. And now he's gonna help you.